Self-service password reset is the feature in FIM that allows users to reset their own passwords and doesn't have to call help desk. Before we configure this feature, we should have installed the password reset registration and reset portals. Password registration portal will allow users to register for self-service password reset. Password reset portal can, after the user has been registered, be used when users need to reset their passwords. The company has also installed the FIM add-ins to their client computers, making it possible to have the ability to register and reset the passwords directly from the Windows logon screen. To enable this feature, we need to do some configurations in FIM. First of all, the ADMA account, SVC FIM MA, needs the permission in AD to reset passwords. The ADMA needs to be configured as a target for password management. I recommend that you enable the unlocking of accounts as part of this setting. Next, we need to allow the FIM service to make the call to the synchronization service to perform the reset. To do that, we add the FIM service account to the FIM sync browse and the FIM sync password set groups. Call from FIM service to perform the password change is done using WMI. So, if the FIM service and the FIM synchronization service are on different servers, you would need to allow for this call to work remotely. Remember that you need to restart the FIM service for this new group membership to apply. Finally, we need to configure the FIM service MPRs required for this to work. But the MPRs will use some sets that we need to look at. The first one is the password reset users set. This set by default contains all users. So if we use this, everyone will be enabled for SSPR. The company, however, has decided to only enable this for employees. So we modify this set to only contain employees. We then need to decide how the users should authenticate when they try to reset their passwords. FIM 2010R2 offers three different ways to do this. One is the question and answer gate. The other two is using one-time passwords, sent either using email or SMS. The default in the authentication workflow present out of the box is the Q&A gate. The company has decided to use the Q&A gate. We need to configure the Q&A gate to have the proper settings and the proper question. The company has decided to only ask one question, asking the users to create the personal PIN to use. Once the configuration is finished, we can enable the SSPR feature by enabling three MPRs. If you have defined your own set of users instead of using the default password reset user set, you would also need to duplicate or modify these MPRs to refer to your custom set. I have worked on a project where different groups of users use different methods for self-service password reset. This requires duplicating all of the sets, workflows, and MPRs involved to make it work. John, being an employee, can now register for SSPR by either using the past registration portal or the add-in. Since the add-in is installed, John will receive a prompt to register for SSPR the next time he logs on to his computer. Following the registration process, he can then successfully register for SSPR. 
if later on John forgets his password, he can either use the password reset portal or the little link on his logon dialog. SSPR is really very easy to get started with. Adding users to the sets gradually makes it possible to have a small group of pilot users before we enable the feature for all users. In the next part, we will look at allowing the users with another self-service scenario by allowing them to modify their own attributes.